Travelling supporters. Well, Leicester City really boosted by uh, Ashley Plumtree passing her concussion protocol test in time to train yesterday, having gone off against Chelsea, as I said earlier, colliding with the post. Two changes from the 9-0. Sophie Barker back to captain the side, and the former Brighton, uh, former Birmingham and Aston Villa youngster uh, Goodwin gets her full debut after three substitutes appearances. Georgia Braun goes to the bench. Molly Pike was injured against Chelsea. Abby McManus is still missing injured. Four changes for the Arsenal from the Champions League defeat at Wolfsburg. Beth Mead and Leah Valti are fit to return, crucially. Uh, Laura Wienreuter and Catelyn Ford are back in the side. Miedemar will drop deeper then to allow that front three of Mead, Blackstenius and Ford. Maritz, Catley, Marnham and Heath go to the bench. Arsenal players in at the huddle and they have such glittering stars in their lineup and they have the bigger budget and Leicester City are in their first season in WSL they found it in 2004 four quick promotions to the Women's Premier League North they came into the WSL Championship for 1819 bought by King Power in 2020 the parent owners of course and won the WSL two title in 2021 we're nearly ready to go very quiet stadium. Arsenal simply can afford no slip-ups in any game from here on in. There's the referee, Rebecca Walsh, who's taken, what, 14 men's games this season. And the referee at Morecambe against Oxford, I think it is, on Tuesday night. A breakthrough season for her and women's referees. We're in to the business end of the season. As the players of both sides take the knee to generous applause in the battle against racism and all social injustice. Leicester City kick us off and underway in the blue and white against uh, Arsenal in the change of pale yellow. And here today, at Everton, at home to Villa, and away at West Ham United. Arsenal cannot afford to drop points. The game against Spurs has to be rearranged as well, and has to be won. That's for City, from here on in, you'd have thought it's a, a learning curve for them. To pick up one or two points here and there between now and the end of the campaign. Survival, their main aim this season. They've got a game against Reading at home to come and trips to Manchester City and to Spurs. And they have a free kick here for the little foul on Sam Tierney. Important for Arsenal that Leo Valti is back, has played a big part of the season, was crucially missed against Wolfsburg, I felt. Here's a lot of Uben Moy. He's come into the side again recently in the absence of Rafael, the uh, Brazilian who impressed before uh, she uh, was injured. And Katie McKay, adept at left back, left wing back, left wing, right hand side as well, Ford. And that's the first attempt and the first goal and Arsenal taken just 90 seconds to score it. Lovely ball in and a fine finish by Beth Mead. And it's another grisly start for Leicester City. Opened up in the first attack of the game. It took Chelsea three minutes to get the first of their nine. It's taken Arsenal 90 seconds. Ford in, Mead with the finish. And Thomas Perfield never really got close enough to it. 1 0 Arsenal. Goalkeeper Demi Lamborn had no chance. Mead back in the side after missing the trip to Germany in the week. Gets her fourth in five games. And that's an old refrain you're hearing. And uh, Leicester City have got a problem here for Demi Lamborn as well. I 
This would be a major blow to them if they lose their goalkeeper at this stage. Only appointed this season. Never just putting shin guards on now, is she? Have to start with some sort of shin protection, rules of the game. Lydia Bedford uh, contract to the end of the season. Need for pro license 2019. Inside is conceded at over 2.6 goals a game now. Thirty-three goals conceded in open play this season, Leicester City. No side has conceded more. And Arsenal all smiles. Good run by Ford. Fine cut back. You have to get across your striker and block the attempted shot, and it didn't happen. A great start for Leicester, all for Gemma Perfield, who was sent off in the game at Arsenal early this season. McCabe will take the throw. Let's will try and get a toehold in the game now, I guess. A bright burst by Shannon O'Brien. Got the Leicester City fans on their feet. A lot more of them have come into the stadium now from the concourse area. A bit of a slip there. There's a, that Stennis went to close on the goalkeeper. Being outnumbered in midfield already, Leicester. Valti. Mead, there's the switch. Looking for forward handball, I would think, by her. If he said no. Missy Goodwin is coming for her full debut on the right hand side. And they've got two, two forwards, it would seem. And right up. They'll get forward for Arsenal on their right. She's been swapping starts with Maritz on the right side. Defensive position. Come back here by Natasha Flint. Brian with a further forward role than usual with Natasha Flint. So it is more of a 4 4 2 for Leicester today. Here's McCabe. Still going. And comes back to Ford. And Leicester really can't get it high enough up the pitch to relieve any sort of pressure. Ford the ball in. Looking for me. Brought it down. Oh, is that a hand? It's just a corner. No appeals for Marsnell's point of view. For a minute, that might just have... No, it hit a flush on the face, Gemma Perfield. Oh, Doncaster Bells player. Went out to USA, to college out there. In South Alabama, and then on to Arizona State. And she played for the Sun Devils University team. She was fresher of the year out there. A good spill out in the USA, as so many of the young WSL players have over the years. Arsenal with the first corner, testing to the far post, and the header just relieves the pressure. The goal kick came off Mida Malar, said the referee. I think she's changed her mind now. As Mida Graf was there, He's a Dutch international, right wing back. He was at West Ham, you remember, for a couple of years. Nice with everyone back. 
and scrambled away. And he did leave the one up. Little. Arsenal making the pitch big, making Leicester work very, very hard. I'm thinking another goal is far away, Blackstonius. Williamson. Given go attempted to Dean Roy to unfold, he's gone away to the right hand side now, switched with Mead. And just too high for Stina Blackstenius. He's made a good start to WSL life. Brought in by uh, Jonas Eideval. Five goals she's scored in her nine games for Arsenal, the Swedish international. Olympic silver medalist. Captain Ford, she had a good run in the Olympics with Australia. Has missed out on the medals. But one of the things Leicester have worked on this week, Lydia Bedford was saying, is to want to stay in a game longer than they did last week when they were absolutely destroyed early on. That's a good challenge this time. And played by Ashley Plumtree, so important to them. Mead trying to bring it down. Still delayed by Fred Gregory. And what's it, Fuva Moy. England international. Going to play for the Netherlands. Dean Reuter, the Austrian international right back. And Mead. Miedemar is not holding in a deeper position at all, really, today. She's up there, and Arsenal virtually have a front four. Played. Stabbed out in the middle by Club Tree. Balti to Miedemar. They're all over them here, Arsenal. Ford. She's going for goal there, I think. Miscued it. Thirteenth start this season for the Asian Player of the Year of 2016. Huge experience, again, three World Cup finals with Australia. It's good to see that the parent club has backed women's football at Leicester, but the resources don't compare with the likes of Arsenal and Manchester City and Chelsea. Manchester United, even Tottenham now. Miedemar nearly in, Santini got back at her. Gregory to O'Brien. Yeah. Gregory couldn't get away. Yeah. Here's Ireland's Katie McCabe. Yeah. is with the run. Now watch the movement of Miedemeyer in the middle. Away by Plumtree. Tierney got the foot in there for Leicester to loop it away up towards Natasha Flint. And Blair says the referee O'Brien, she was fouled. No card for Ruben Moy. She thinks she got something of the ball. I don't think she did. But from that angle. She's fluent in Dutch. England under 17 captain in her time. Very good netball player. Good athlete, 800 metre runner. Dad is from the Netherlands, mum's English.
if they can get back into the game, they will need Shannon O'Brien perhaps to come up with something. She's missed only two league games this season, has been important for them. Perfield with the free kick forward. Covering all the way back was Natasha Flint. And she's there again. And just rolls it one side of Kim Little and darts the other in De Croft. So Missy Goodwin made a debut against Sheffield United back in November in the uh, Continental Cup. Big step up for her. Williamson, Dean Reuter, returned by Black Stanius, not by De Graff. Well, it was Sophie Howard who got that out. Pump treat. Howard is there on the edge of the penalty, cleared by Dami Lambourne. Another foul, conceded by Arsenal, this time by Katie McKay. And another yellow. The team currently top of the table again, as it stands. It's only for a little while. She rushed in there, didn't she? Not very well timed. A good player for Arsenal, Katie McCabe, since she joined from Shelbourne Ladies, where she was a title winner in Ireland. She turned down Glasgow City, turned down Manchester City, I believe, to join the Arsenal. Was sent off this season against Manchester United, I think it was, at home. Here's Sophie Howard. Tierney. Howard, German under 20 international, born in Germany, but a full Scottish international. Not international class football, that though, by Leicester. Here's Ford. Just opened the left foot up a little bit too much there. So got the angle wrong on the cross. Angle of the boot there, you see, dug down on it. up against it again Leicester but they, they consolidated still nil nil by the way Manchester United against Brighton approaching half time here's a free kick for Arsenal she's kicked Beth Mead Arsenal with 62% of possession so far. Ruben Moy. At this stage last week, Chelsea were four to the good. Miedemann. The cross in against Sam Tierney. He needs to stop those crosses at source. Be rare touch of the ball here for Manuela Zinsberger. Good switch. Ford causing problems on the left. Okay, behind that. That's a corner kick. A slight touch off to Graf. in low there was the run to the near post not quite away and Williamson swept a foot of deflection carries it over oh, 
Well, they're playing with smiles. Team that went out of the Champions League on Thursday, they've got over it very quickly. Good opponents for them here today. That's headed away, will come back almost to meet him up. Just put off good challenge by Shannon O'Brien. Just did enough there, O'Brien. No foul on Williamson. On Beth Mead, I should say, Flint was too strong. There is Leah Williamson. Approaching 200 games now. To the club of their dreams. Family are all big Arsenal fans, season ticket holders. Uber Moy drove that wide to Feenreiter. She was signed from Hoffenheim on the back of her displays against Arsenal in Europe. Joined in January. Here's McCabe. Been there five years now. And I thought she was fouled by De Graaf. Tough ask for young Missy Goodwin down here with the light blue boots in her full debut, needing to protect Esme de Graff from Ford and McCabe. Certainly a game for Arsenal to boost their goal difference. Here's Little. And Leicester far more resolute and resilient than they were last week when they went to pieces early on. Good shape, probably better, I think, for them. 4-4-2. Four, four, Cross comes in from McCabe, and that's another corner. Four four two. You've got you can double up on Arsenal's wide players. In comes across. Meet him up. Good stop. Strong hands from Demi Lambo. Poised, hovering. Might have been creeping wide anyway. I'll score from one of these surely soon. Decent header out by Howard, I think it was. Pressure immediately comes back on Leicester. Mead. Swaps passes with Ford. Give and go looking for Black Stenius. Valti jumping in between the two centre backs. And he's Ford. And McCabe. Got five Arsenal players on the fringe of the penalty area. And dispossessed. The graph have got something on it. Needing the penalty, looking for Blackstone. She lost her bearings a little bit. The graph can't loiter like that. Ford's had a bright start to the game. And we'll get a second chance here. That's a foul right on the edge of the penalty area. We find Shannon O'Brien. Oh, I'm not too sure she did anything wrong. So we look for this angle here. Puts her foot on the ball and Ford goes over her knee. There's nothing wrong with Shannon O'Brien's challenge there.
Should be dismayed by that, the uh, England under-23 international. McKay stands over it, but it's going to be Beth Mead, I would think, to hit it. And it is, it's deflected just wide, only just. Very nearly her second of the game. Big deflection off of Brian who broke from the wall. Six corners now for Arsenal. And McCabe in swing a forward at the far stick. Blackstinius at the near. It's between the two of them. Hartle head on that. Sophie Howard got something of it. They just can't get out, Leicester. Nicked it away from Kim Little. It's important for Leicester that they sort out Lydia Bedford's long-term future so that she can plan for next season who she wants to bring into the club, which players will be allowed to go. Well, WSL players, despite the improvements, and I'm not talking about top-end players, Champions League chasing sides and whatnot, but down the other end are on short-term contracts. This is an opportunity here for me to mark good stop. Mead did well, blocked in there by Plumtree. Arsenal pressing again. Ford near post, parried once again. For the first save from. Lambourne to thwart Miedemar was an excellent save because I think she was going the wrong way and stuck out a leg to block. <laughs> 25 minutes gone, just the one goal in it despite all of Arsenal's pressure. Ford. by Plumtree. Just to give you some idea of the improvement by uh, Leicester, they were 5-0 down against Chelsea after 28 minutes last week. <laughs> Arsenal scored a first-half goal for the uh, eighth game in a row. They might have had more. Good stop by the keeper that. Saw it late from behind Sophie Howard. Had to readjust. Minimal's future needs to be firmed up as well, of course. Leon have been suitors for for a long, long time, but the Spanish clubs have come to the fore now in European football. Being right up. Here's Mead, spotting the run of Blackstanius in behind. And Demi Lambourne was alert. 1-0 still. Good start, Captain Ford. Williamson. Get to Uber Moy. Kim Little. And McKay with a lot of freedom. And Missy Goodwin got back in the end. Baptism of fire for her. Ooh. 
Williamson. He's staying out wide there. You see Sophie Barker is scuttling across in that part of that midfield, like organising Leicester with the blue boots. But they can't get it away again. Meet him up. Behind me. Leicester just sitting in there. And this is what their coach wanted to see. A team that would press in the right areas. Deny Arsenal space in the final third. They'll still be in the game. Seen a lot of goals lately, and at the start of the season, of course, they they lost their first what was it nine in all competitions, before beating Durham away in the Continental Cup. First league win came against Birmingham City, but those back-to-back -back wins again against Birmingham and against West Ham here really uh, cemented their place in WSL football for next season again. Maybe with that in mind, one or two players lost their focus and then the heavy defeats came of late. Been waiting behind the back. Fantastic player she's been over the years, Kim Little. Right up there in the top five of WSL history for a number of goals and assists. Mead. Meadamar tried the little back heel too. It was well read by Sophie Howard. Meadamar. Went for the near post, hit the near post. So close to goal 20 this season. The goalkeeper might have got a touch on that, in which case it was a splendid save by Demi Lamborn. And a second good save of the game, let's see. Turned into space, allowed to turn into space. She did get a, just a finger on it, I think. Yeah, just glanced it onto the post. One game shy of 50 now for Leicester is the Oxford-born goalkeeper. Half an hour play. Well, that's the sort of ball into the penalty here that would suggest Arsenal are getting a little bit frustrated they haven't had to the one goal. Shouldn't be allowed to turn in like that, meet him up. They allowed her to get the shot away, and it was so close to a second. Arsenal throw. Ruben Moy, Williamson. Ruben Moy, she's going for goal with a weaker left foot. And we got one for Hoffenheim in her three and a half years there. Flint, with a little bit of pressure there on Williamson. Strong player is Natasha Flint in terms of physicality. The former Manchester United centre of excellence player, Manchester City, Continental Cup winner. And spells at lower clubs before she really hit the grade again at Blackburn. She scored 70 goals in 66 games 
for Blackburn. Had a good promotion campaign last time around. Williamson. Stenius, run plum two, got the last touch, it's a corner kick. Absolutely vital for Leicester that Ashley plum two was fit today. It's a winning mentality. She won the national title with the University of South Carolina Trojans in the USA and with LX LA Galaxy. Women's senior football over there. Hi, oh, Hoyce looking for Ruben Moy. Headed away by Plumtree to Kim Little. Valti. Zinsberger just happy to be able to do something, I think. This Valti, the Swiss international. Very good signing from Potsdam. And Valti will just sit in there and allow the more creative players like Kim Little to play off her. Sophie Howard qualifies to play for Scotland, by the way, her granddad was Scottish. What about the legacy? And here it's spoken so often, trying to get young girls, young women into women's football. Open up pathways for them. We see these players like Kim Little, what a role model she is, by the way. Williamson. Blocked by Plumtree. All dispossessed too easily there by Miedemar. The shot was blocked by Howard. Just becoming less cautious, Leicester, having stayed in the game for 35 minutes. And here's O'Brien. She can be creative. Flint was the shot was blocked by Vin Reuter. And Leicester have their first corner. First time we've seen anything like an effort on goal. She maintained high concentration levels. Manuela Zinsberger. Missy Goodwin in the mix. No challenge on Zinsberger. Ruben Moy. Arsenal with the freedom to get so many players forward, but Leicester City have been disciplined back there. They've been troubled on their right hand side, but that's better work from Missy Goodwin defending. Good touch by Ruben Moy. And Williamson. They can bring it out of defence because Leicester dropped back so deep. Mead, whose goal separates the sides. Little, back to it. And she's pulled to the ground by Sam Tierney. Foul by the former Doncaster and Sheffield United player. Used her arm. 
Four was a bit exaggerated. quite hard some of the Leicester players yes, I've got to remember that the Arsenal players have been full-time professionals for a lot longer she gets a yellow card Sophie Barker has a word with Demi Lamborn. Is she happy the wall's been lined up okay? Okay, with it. Drilled into the wall. They held firm as well. Delicate second prod of a pass into the penalty and now's a chance to break now. Greenwood just gear extended into his shot. She good win, I think, winded by the free kick that hit her. Right in the tummy. England youth player. What an afternoon for her. She's only 18. A few minutes and given a first start here today by Lydia Bedford. His team has yet to draw a WSL game this season, the only team that hasn't picked up a single point in a game. Finretter, Mead. One of the best of passes. Down by De Graaf. Cheney. Gets me De Graaf. Barker. Another former Doncaster Bells player, Sheffield player. Five minutes to go in the first half. Well, when Arsenal took that lead so early on through Beth Mead, you expected the worst to happen. And all credit to Leicester that they haven't allowed it to happen. Real positives in this for them. And frustration for Arsenal, they haven't extended the lead. Perfield will take it. And the Bristol City player, Liverpool player. Mead underneath. And so too was Miedemar. Stamped out by Valti, held up by Black Stanius very well. Here's Kim Little. Forward is breaking to the left. Little. Typical drive from her. And the weight of pass perfect. Can Ford finish it? She can't because Demi Lamborn once again has rescued Leicester. She's had a fine first half, the Leicester City goalkeeper. Brilliant play by Kim Little. Looking right, looking left. Lovely pass. And Kellen Ford's first touch let her down. Couldn't clear her feet. The combination of the goalkeeper and Sophie Howard rushing back stopped up. Played in low and flat, should be cleared. Tarfield got hurt in there. Just got caught there by Leah Williamson, I think it was.
bright young coach. Deserves to have her future resolved. In, in some ways, their season turned with the cup win at Spurs. Extra time, 3 1. They won it. Hammered by Chelsea, mind you, in, in the next round, 7 0. But Gave them confidence, that Spurs win, you know. They went on to beat Birmingham away and West Ham at home in subsequent WSL games. Here's Ford. Again, tried to turn it in. And out by the captain of Leicester City, Sophie Barker. Vaulting. Now Ford. Too much space there, really, for it. Barker got back, rolls to Ford again. Miedemeyer's in support. Further back up the line is McCabe. Miedemeyer wants to feet so she could roll in from that position, maybe have another shot. Mead dummied so the ball would run across her body. She could perhaps get a shot in in the end, though it's cleared by Perfield. And the pass to Black. Stenius had too much weight. She had a very good half, the goalkeeper. She kept the score down to the one, could have been three or four. 73% possession from Arsenal's point of view. 14 efforts, five on target. But it's only 1-0 on the big screen. One there by Miedemeyer, she's got a clump on her head as well, Blackstanius. Good defending by Plumtree. Into those two minutes now. McKay, disappointed with herself. Normally so reliable with a left foot delivery into the box. Popped up with goals this season as well. Probably the only player starting for Arsenal outfield today who hasn't found the back of the net for them is Lauren Veenroy to the right back. Good travelling supporters. A great Arsenal set up the women's football since Vic Akers created the, the team in 1987, did so many great things with Arsenal women. Champions of the land 15 times. A little bit of pressure on them here. Little. Now, Ford has got away, perhaps. In comes the cover from Sophie Howard. Flint. Just got it away in time. Ford has kept that ball in play. Belty. Mead mark. Will it wide right for Beth Mead? I think she was looking for Black Stenius in the middle. She'd seen Miedemar making the run. Half time at the King Power. And but for Demi Lamborn, Arsenal would have been in a more comfortable position. Leading with the goal from Beth Mead after her one and three quarter minutes. Had come close so many times since. Good save to deny Ford and Miedemar. Just touched the Miedemar effort onto the post with one of those efforts. Arsenal well in command, totally in, in command of possession. More shots on goal, but just the one in it at half-time. Leicester City women nil, Arsenal women one. For the WSL table as it stands, leading here by a goal to nil. 
against uh, a team that was stumped out of sight a week ago and has performed admirably given that today to deny Arsenal. Their uh, goalkeeper Demi Lamborn has been super. Demi uh, Beth Mead's goal separates the two sides as it stands. Also, a Manchester United lead Brighton 1 0. Leah Galton got that goal, by the way. I think she'll have taken a lot of positives from this in the first half, Lydia Bedford. And where they got over that crushing defeat last week and got their focus back. Now, no changes from either coach at half time. Arsenal. In lemon yellow, will kick us off and underway. Great applause from both sets of supporters there for Demi Lambourne, by the way. Natasha Flint has had Leicester's only effort and it was deflected well wide. And on the whistle of Rebecca Walsh, off we go. Arsenal will want more, they could possibly need more if it goes down to the wire. Back to Rotoruba Moy. He suspended her studies in the USA, North Carolina Tar Heels. She played at the university there, North Carolina, uh, when the COVID pandemic struck. Came back to play football. Ford. They've had most of their joy down that left hand side, and they force a corner kick right at the start of the second period. Cave will take it, so it'll go away from goal. The tenth corner of the game, this Arsenal. Played in short, little touch back there. Oh, brilliant effort, great corner kick routine and headed off the line. Superbly by Esme de Graaf. Beth Mead denied a second. Lovely corner kick routine and she hit it so powerfully. That's a great header off the line. Fizzing start for Arsenal at the start of the second half. One of the goal line saves of the season there. In towards the near post, it goes, keeper under pressure, blocked off by her own player, I think it was Shannon O'Brien, who was just in front of Demi Lambert. Well, she did so well, knocked her over. have shown real team spirit here in togetherness given what happened last week in towards Williamson that's a goal kick little check going on here for the Arsenal player Any head injury is now treated very seriously. Quite rightly so. Got it caught just on the lower side of her, her jaw, really. And you can see she was a bit dazed by it. This was the setup for the Beth Mead effort. Good corner routine, wasn't it? Now well played Esme de Graaf. Guess she was hoping that a strong season with Leicester might propel her back into the Netherlands setup. She's played just a couple of games for them. De Graaf, Leah Williamson, very much a mainstay for England, of course. They can take no chances. Back in the day, the decision on fitness used to be down to the managers, really, above everyone else. They just have one physio down there with them, but these days there's a team of medical staff who will make the decision. Concussion protocol, uh, there'll be a third opinion. They should come back on now.
Blackstenius. That's O'Brien. Flint alone up front with uh, Gregory hoping to break on the left hand side to get up with her. And she could win on the right. But it has been a 4 4 2 for them today, really. Start of the second half, they looked as if they shaped with a three at times, but it is a four. Just kept in by De Graaf. Here's Sophie Howard, the Arsenal fans who've come in great number today, didn't think that decision was right. Gregory didn't hold it up. Gregory, O'Brien and Missy Goodwin are all at Leicester, having been at Villa and the uh, juniors there. Ford and McCabe, another good combination between them. Just delayed across, she looked up and noticed the positioning there of Viviana Miedemar. First instinct was to cross deep into the penalty area, and coaches will tell you often your first instinct is your best. Thirteen corners now for Arsenal. And it comes nearly to the head of Miedemar. Just knocked away. Flip was back in there defending. Frere Gregory. Dillard will take the throw. Well, however, she was fouled as she came out, and indeed she was. Long by Howard. In there again. Here Williamson. Only Steph Horton has passed the more ball more successfully in the history of WSL than Williamson. Concerning to hear at Suna Vigman this week saying it'd be touch and go for Steph to get fit for England's European Championship campaign on home soil this summer. And we wish the England captain who's had a terrible year for injuries well. That's a foul by Flint. Just barge Velty. Away. So much football to look forward to in in this year, the European Championship, Champions League, semi-finals coming up as well in the in women's football. Mead with a cross into the box. Oh, drop! That's the first mistake she's made, Demi Lambert. Just took her off the ball at the end. Move with herself. Let's have a throw as a result. Howard stepped out to block his flint. Didn't get a shout, crowded out. Williamson, Miedemar sees the gap, goes for it, deflected when it comes to me, when it comes to Blackstennis, it comes to Lamble. Important day for both sides to exercise ghosts of the past week. Leicester from that crumpling against Chelsea and Arsenal from going out in Germany in the Champions League on Thursday to Wolfsburg, who now go through to play Barcelona. And there's something Leon against uh, Paris Saint Germain, the other one. It's blocked by Gemma Perfil. Stonius now to come short and hold up possession against Sophie Barker. Little.
Little again. Lost possession. One back again strongly for Arsenal by Williamson against Flint, who was dawdling a little bit. Mead. Look at the numbers back, though, in blue shirts. A three, then a five. Williamson might have been blocked off at play on. Been right up. And he is little. No great movement on the edge of the box by Arsenal. Ford has now gone into the wider position. Fuba Moy. Good attentive defending, that really is. If you notice that uh, Ashley Plumtree stepped out there to follow an Arsenal player's movement. They're plugging gaps, they're working really hard for each other. It is damage limitation, of course. And this could be costly, the foul by Natasha Flint. In from Williamson. Good defending once again by Esme de Graaf. Had to work hard on that right today. Vuba Moy. That's exactly where Leicester want them to go. They want to funnel them in narrow. Crash long by Perfield. Important defending at the back for Arsenal by Volti. What a soft touch by the goalkeeper. And O'Brien is here. Pressurising McCabe, it's going to be a throw to Arsenal. Long ball nearly did the damage, and luckily for Arsenal, Dalti was there, but it's a soft touch by Manuel Zinsberger. A couple of challenges for her in the game have uh, attracted the wrath of the referee. Little trip there on Valti. Long up to Mead. Brian caution for that trip. Well, the game has not turned out to be the game we thought it would be. Arsenal one 0 up in two minutes. Little lovely turn. Barely wasted a ball today. Very rarely does. Mead, Miedemar shooting chances on. Just deflected to off. Plumtree did enough. And Williamson, Ford is coming from the far side of the penalty. And Meads available here now. Wasn't a good touch. Under pressure from Gregory, she brings it back here for Williamson. Cross to Ford. And again, it was McGrath, uh, De Graaf who was well positioned to get it away. McKay. Little. Miedemar. Finding Ford, a little bit of space in towards Miedemar. Well, it's a foul, I would think, on the goalkeeper from Reen Reuter, allowed to go on. The ref has called it in the end, she jumped into the goalkeeper, that's a foul. Yeah, she blew for that. all about scoring uh, Liverpool and Leicester and England I mean Heskey plays a big part in the development of Leicester women's football was standing coach for a while I don't think he ever got the credit he was due as a player 
you speak to centre halves of that era, most of them will tell you what a difficult opponent he was. Here's Mean. I think it would disappoint their coaches the quality of passing in the final third has let them down. It was careless that. They found on Perfield in the end. And the longer this goes, a glimmer of hope will grow in Lydia Bedford's team that they can get something out of this game, and wouldn't that be something for this club? The first draw for them this season, if they can get an equaliser, would be a big statement as to their tenacity after last week. It would also be very damaging for Arsenal. There's a foul on Ruben Moy. Needlessly aggressive from uh, Natasha Flint. An hour played, just the one goal in it. Arsenal won league defeat this season, but that was a major surprise at bottom club Birmingham. In the next half an hour, could they yet slip up here against the set of bottom team, second bottom team? I don't think one goal will be enough. Certainly not enough for comfort anyway. Faulty. It's a slippy sort of a pass. Miedemar, but it was played into Miedemar, coming away from goal, with a lot of blue shirts behind her. They had their greatest joy, Arsenal, in the opening exchanges, going down that left-hand side. Shannon O'Brien was fouled. 2020 is Shannon O'Brien. I wouldn't be at all surprised if... One of the teams higher up the WSL pecking order swoops. Double substitution coming up for uh, Arsenal. Kim Little is departing. And Steph Catley will come on over the Australians. And the second substitution sees Frieda Marnham coming on Catley for McCabe Marnham comes on for Little in midfield she scored two against Leicester at home and her appearances of late have come from the bench Marnham started in the week in the defeat against uh, Wolfsburg away less to do here because they forced a corner kick Jumper Perfield will take it left footed and Ashley Plumtree's a danger in there it's beyond her though and comfortably dealt with by Zinsberger Arsenal on the counter and he's had a little look he was on the far side. Valti. Played it narrow. Ford laid it off to Miedemar. Rather congested in there. Arnold went for a little touch. Steph Catley went, I mean, Katie McKay went down the, the tunnel and she was substituted. She was frustrated, really, that they haven't built on the good work on the left early on with Ford. 
Natalie is a left back, of course, and has gone straight over there. She started nine of their last ten games. Well, he's made two changes. He hasn't changed the formation any. Manchester United still one up against Brighton, deep into stoppage time there. Nervy. You can understand why. One nil up, one slip, and the title could very well have gone. As it is, they have a two-point lead over Chelsea. Whose game against Reading uh, at a quarter to seven tonight, UK time, is the game in hand. Barnum. Catley. And Leicester regrouping. And Arsenal finding it difficult to find a way through. Again, it's played in narrow, and that's what... Look, there's nine blue shirts there. They have to get it out wide. I have to say that young Missy Goodwin has learned after that rather torrid opening 10-15 minutes. She's worked really hard in there on her first start. Here's Miedemar, back to goal. And Mead sees the gap and was seen off. Perfield's touch has presented the ball to Miedemar. And Arsenal have the second. That's the killer goal. No way back for Leicester now. No danger to Arsenal. Staying, stop saying... Top for the minute. Initially, they defended well. Miedemar to Mead, she saw the gap. Perfield got across and then a bit jittery, poked it straight to Miedemar. Keeper was coming. Could have left it for the keeper, lacking in communication at the back, Leicester. And they've been made to pay for it. Miedemar into the empty net, 2-0. Another for the WSL record scorer. And they're in again here, Arsenal, perhaps. Miedemar goes beyond Howard. There's the pullback. Acrobatic attempt by Mead. Miedemar's 114th goal for Arsenal. Was it 71 now in the WSL? They should go on now and win comfortably, you would think. Midway through the second half. But given the form line through Chelsea's performance here last week, they would appear to be the favourites very much for the WSL title. He was a long way away from uh, making contact with that. Here's Flint. Sophie Howard coming out from the back. Easily read by Ruben Moyes. Offside anyway, Flint. Catley. To Ford, the two Australians combining. And Paris is going to come on for Arsenal. It has been a strange season for Nikita Paris, returning to English football from Lyon. Stop-start. 
and scored a WSL goal since returning. Has five in all competitions for the for the Gunners. Their opportunities for her have been limited. She's a confidence player, bright, bubbly character. Needs a run in the side. That run might not come at uh, an Arsenal football club with Mead and Blackstenius and Miedemar all ahead of her, Ford. I don't think there's a supporter of the Lionesses or any of the players that have played with her for her various clubs that would wish anything but success for Nikita Paris. A couple of starts in her last ten games, she replaces Blacksternius. And she'll be disappointed, this, the, the Swedish international striker, that she didn't have a, an opportunity here today at all. As to making a change as well. Paige Bailey Gale, forward coming on. Former Arsenal player. In four games for the Gunners, 2018, from North London, from Stoke Newington, the Jamaican international. Meade has now gone into the middle for Arsenal with Paris in the wider position. Shannon O'Brien has to fans. Great noise when she picks up the ball ever. Overdid it there, really. That's a poor ball away, though, for Arsenal. And uh, the referee gives the free kick for the resulting challenge from O'Brien as the ball ran away from her. But she's positive. She will try a trick or two. Ran away from her there. Bumped into Miedemar. Ruben Moy, Arsenal's defence, barely troubled. Good defending on Ford, Catley. Needs a Aussie teammate. Mead angled the foot. Here's Valti. Now Miedemar. Nikita Paris. Taking the is away on the right touchline. They haven't been anywhere near as destructive as Chelsea, but Leicester City have been far better. And comes across and headed up and away by Plumtree. Miedemar. Let's actually go with the left foot, I don't think, from there. Mead, the little touch off, looking for Ford. Awareness from the keeper, Demi Lamborn again. Oh, she's disappointed with her clearance. In terms of shape, in terms of individual player discipline at the back, they've been much better. Kept in by Ford. One of Arsenal's best players, that's for sure. Catley. Ruben Moy. Here's Mead. That's another chance, Marlam's to her side there, and she did well to bring in Ford, Paris attacks the near post, stabbed away there by the hard-working Sophie Howard. That's asking far too much of Catley.
So she jogs back, the Melbourne-born Australian international. Again, great experience. Two World Cups, two Olympics, Asian Cup. Uh, her players can't compete with that sort of experience. Paris. Mead back to Nikita Paris, on to Miedemar. Wasn't a great touch, but it's in. And it might have gone in off a Leicester player. Miedemar will take the acclaim. They're 3-0 up. Might have gone in off Sophie Howard, that one. Clever play by Mead and by Paris. And it's an own goal. It's Sesame de Graaf who got back and got the last touch. And Arsenal have a three-goal lead. It's definitely an own goal. See the touch there, off the bottom of the boot, deflecting it past Lambourne. It's 3-0 Arsenal. Leicester's resistance is broken. It's not... A flattering score. De Graaf's brilliant clearance off the line earlier on. Miedemar had the shot saved by Lamborn onto the post. They have three. On a better day, they'd have had four or five. And it is strange to say of a Leicester City side who've now conceded so many goals in recent games, 26 now in five, 35 this season from open play, that it has been an improved Leicester performance. Three nil to Arsenal. Here's Burfield. Let's all have a go now. Shannon O'Brien. Bailey Gale is up there with that. Marnham to Valti. And Williamson can step out knowing that Valti has just stayed in behind her. Up towards Miedemar. Here's Sophie Howard. Williamson. Kept in by Catelyn Ford. Here's Catelyn. The goal difference between Chelsea and Arsenal is now been reduced to two in Chelsea's favour. That's significant. Mind you, they play Reading later on. But Reading, you never know with them. Repeatedly, they punch above their weight. Here's Paris. Chance here for Arsenal once again. It's another own goal. They have their fourth. And enough Ashley Plumtree, perhaps. Leicester sliced open. They're exhausted, their heads have gone down and they're conceding now. This is where they really need to stick together as a group. Too much space for Nikita Paris on this side. Lovely ball out to her, mind you, by Mead. And Plumtree stepping across the eye line of Sophie Howard. Nudged it beyond her own goalkeeper. And rat attack goals from Arsenal have put the game way beyond Leicester City's capabilities. Jordan Nobbs is coming on for Arsenal. And Tobin Heath is coming on as well. Miedemar and uh, Ford, their day is done. And Leicester must just look and wonder at the disparity between the, the two sides and, and their 
budget and their capability. Jordan Hobbs plays 68 times for a country. She's a terrific player. And, well, what can you say about the, uh, the uh, USA international? Twice been involved in USA World Cup winning sides. One of the best players on the planet. Mead has enjoyed himself in that more central Rob Paris turns out he's been Reuter. <laughs> Williamson. Sting has gone out of the game. Edemar made it safe for Arsenal on 67 minutes with their second, and 12 minutes later it was four. Here's Mead looking for Marnham. Chance now for Paige Bailey Gale. Having a look up. Good cricketer, you know, she could have made it as a cricketer, perhaps. She played for in the London Youth Games back in 2015. Eight and a half minutes to go, a little bit more. And the goalkeeper's yet to have a save to make. Zinsberger being right up. Paris very nearly got in behind Perfield. And away by Plumtree. And as far as being right up, she might have a go from there. A really tired Leicester. Nikita Paris give and go with Mead. And it's in at the far post by Heath. Was she offside? That's what Leicester want to know. Paris did all the work. The goal stands. And Tobin Heath, who's had a frustrating time since coming back to English football, gets a third goal for the Gunners. Her first since January. Only had five league appearances. This is her sixth since October. Paris... Good give and go. Percentage fizzer across the face of the goal and edged in by Heath. And Leicester have capitulated at last. Doesn't matter what they go in off as long as they go in. She'd been on the pitch three minutes, Tobin Heath. And the World Cup winner. Puts Arsenal 5 nil up. I still don't think that scoreline flatters them, to be honest. More realistic now. And all the time there. Edging away at that Chelsea superior goal difference, but Chelsea have the game to play later. They're going to, to go back to the top. Here's Beth Mead, she's been outstanding in that more central role. She'd go close to player of the match, I would think, although morally it should go to Demi Lambourne. World Cup, 2015 World Cup winner, 2019 World Cup winner. She missed a penalty in the 2011 final when they were uh, beaten in the shootout by Japan. Okay. 
Six minutes to go. I think you might put one of the goals down to her lacking. A little bit of communication. And the ball was inadvertently prodded by Perfield to Miedemar for the second, but had no chance with the first. Nor with the own goals, nor there really with Tobin Heath. And she's had a fine game, Demi Lamble. to knobs Dean Reuter waits here's Paris he's on the edge of the penalty area here's Beth Mead might have a little give and go there had to bustle through the eye of a needle there and it wasn't a foul Leicester leg weary crestfallen again might have been a foul there by Sam Tierney. He looks for Paris. One I think would be the crowning glory today if Nikita Paris can get a WSL goal. Miedemar got hers. April 2019 when Nikita Paris last scored in this division, it was for Manchester City against Yeovil before he is at uh, Lyon. Miedemar's goal. Effectively won the game. Some sources are crediting that for Miedemar as well, but for me, that's definitely an own goal off De Graff. Four played a major role early on. Here come Arsenal again. Nobbs, Paris to the right-hand side. And Plumptree will bring it away. Two minutes to go. We're hearing that uh, Miedemar is claiming that goal. The only way it can't be an own goal off De Graaf is if the shot by Miedemar was going in anyway, but I don't think it was. I think that uh, Lambourne would have got to it. Used to graph. Whatever happens, Miedemar has 20 goals again in another season. Remarkable goal scoring machine that she is. Going through the motions now. Massive games for Arsenal to come. Chelsea in the Women's Cup semi-final is their next game in a couple of weekends. The players will be on international duty, of course. They go to Everton, they have Villa at home, they have... West Ham away, they have the rearranged game with Tottenham. And even if they win them all, it's out of their hands. As long as Chelsea don't drop points, here's Heath. All Arsenal can do is keep winning their games. Meanwhile, if that's handball, surely that's handball. Played out by Sophie Barker. Been some decent performances for Leicester. O'Brien, Tierney at the start. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was a good piece of control in the end by Wien Reuter. Class is told. Mead, Paris. 
Here's Nobbs. Arsenal have been able to bring on players who've played at World Cups, who've won the competition. Golfing class, golfing resource. Here's Williamson into the last 30 seconds. Nobbs. Can they get a sixth? High hoist to the far side. Heath was coming in, flicked the outside of the post, you know, I think. Ghosting in. Seven minutes of stoppage time. But six substitutions. The goals in the second half. That has surprised me. A couple of injuries. Must have been deflected onto the post as well. Stabbed out by uh, Perfield, it was. Poor clearance. Heath. One by Marnham. Nobbs to Williamson. Here's the armband since Little went off. Me. Struck Plumtree. Nobbs will have a go. Big deflection. Corner ball. Once there to go. Deflected. Twice there to go. Both blocks by Ashley Plumtree. Arsenal's 14th corner. Catley will take it. And it out towards the captain, Barker. She couldn't bring it under control. Marnham. Arsenal's biggest league win of the season, this, I think. Knobs into the box. Mead, here's Catley, surrounded by blue shirts. Heath wins it back. Marnum to Nobbs, she will shoot from there. Always had a good long range shot on her, as Jordan Nobbs. Sort of the long range winner for England on a debut against Italy some nine years ago now. It was in the Cyprus Cup. Scored in the final of the uh, UEFA Under 19s in 2009 from 30 yards for Mo Marley's team. It was against Sweden, I seem to remember. A way win of the season, anyway, for Arsenal. Hit five against Manchester City at home. You remember that right at the start of the season? Goodness me, that was a that was a statement, wasn't it? Manchester City were going through the tortures of the damned. Then is Paris little cutback looking for Mead and just got there late and caught Sophie Howard. Honest effort to get there, just got there slightly late. Good header one there. Actually tried to steer it through. Over Moy to Catley. Over Moy out wide. Here's Heath giving chase. De Graff was there and did enough. Here's Howard. De Graff away, came to on the wrong foot. Catley for Arsenal. They want more goals. The effort from Nobbs is deflected up and wide. Three efforts she's had now since coming off the bench. 
Goal difference is level between Arsenal and Chelsea. Any little advantage, though, that can be gained from here on in, in this run-in, should be gained. Heath is in there, Paris and Marnham, and uh, Otteruba Moy. And he came through to her, out by Sophie Barker. I mean, Freya Gregory actually got that away, I think it was, but anyway, they've got a player down. Let's see how it happened. Bashed in the face, Sam Tierney. Ball hitter in the face. Again, it, it might sound strange here. They've been beaten by five goals in at home. But I think that you'll hear positive noises from Lydia Bedford after this about the way her team did stay in the game a lot longer than they did against Chelsea. You're talking 65 minutes before Arsenal got their second. Yes, they crumpled subsequently. And four goals in that 18-minute spell. Can Leicester get a consolation as we enter the last minute? And Gemma Perfield prepares to take this, curling in with the left foot. High hoist, not much curl on it. Paris with the header away. Heath is there first for Arsenal. And we're strong enough to win it back. And Paris over the halfway line, and the flag has stayed down. And Jordan Nobbs has it. There's no support arriving, though. Eventually, she tries to cut it back, but there are plenty of blue shirts there. And again, the manager will see positives in that. Beanreuter. Nobbs. To be brutally critical, I don't think one or two of the Arsenal players there were hungry enough to go in search of a, a sixth, but you can understand why at 5 0 up. Job done. Marnham. Leo Volti, here's Paris, wouldn't come to it. And we've had seven minutes of stoppage time and no more. Arsenal bounce back from Champions League defeat with a convincing win here against Leicester City by five goals to nil. It was an improved Leicester performance. Arsenal put on their way by Beth Mead in the second minute. They had to wait to the 65th before Vivian Miedemar put them 2-0 up. She will claim their third, though I think it'll go down ultimately as a De Graaf own goal. Certainly an own goal by Ashley Plumtree for their fourth. And then Tobin Heath, seven minutes from time off the bench, got their fifth. It's a convincing win for Arsenal, who, if only for a little while, go back to the top of the WSL.